Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Vitamins are building blocks that keep your body running. They help build muscle and bone, make use of nutrients, capture and use energy to heal wounds. Bacteria, fungi and plants produce their own vitamins, but our body cannot. So we have to take them from other sources. Let's see how our body needs different types of vitamins. Vitamin A is a group of unsaturated, nutritional, organic compounds and several provitamins and carotenoids. Carotenoids are yellow, orange and red organic pigments that are produced by plants. These are the colors you usually see in fruits and vegetables. Vitamin A has multiple functions. It's important for growth and development, for maintenance of the immune system, and for good vision. We find vitamin A in darkly colored fruits such as carrots, broccoli, cantaloupe, squash, fish and meat. Vitamin A deficiency can cause blindness. It can also increase the risk of serious infections. Symptoms include night blindness, dry skin, and frequent infections. Treatments may include supplements and diet changes. Vitamin E is an antioxidant. It may help protect your cells from damage. This essential nutrient occurs naturally in many foods. It's also available as a dietary supplement. Sometimes it's in processed foods. Vitamin E is a fat soluble. This means your body stores and uses it as it's needed. You have probably seen rust on a car or a bike. A similar process of oxidization and aging takes place in your body also. When cells are exposed to molecules called free radicals, free radicals weaken and break down healthy cells. These molecules may also contribute to heart disease and cancer. Free radicals form as a result of normal body processes. These cause damage that shorten the life of your cells. Vitamin E is a powerful antioxidant that may help reduce free radical damage and slow down the aging process of your cells, according to the National Institute of Health. Vitamin E is a lipid soluble. That means it needs fat to be absorbed in your body. Vitamin E deficiency is extremely rare. It tends to be caused by irregularities in your dietary fat absorption or metabolism. Vitamin E deficiency include weakened immune system, which helps your body fight viruses and bacteria, muscle weakness, and vision problems. Make sure you consult your doctor if you have any of these symptoms. In cold and flu season, vitamin C is flying off the shelves. It's vital to performing collagen, the stuff that keeps your skin tight and your bones strong. It also contains powerful antioxidants. Oranges are of course great sources of vitamin C, but other fruits like grapefruit and lemons are also very good at providing vitamin C. While citrus fruits may be most famous for the source of vitamin C, a wide variety of fruits and vegetables are rich in this vitamin and many exceed the amounts found in citrus fruits such as vegetables like bell peppers, broccoli, spinach also contain vitamin C. To get the most out of vitamin C bang for your buck, enjoy your fruits and vegetables raw because this vitamin is water soluble. This means it's able to be dissolved in water. Heating and cooking the food decrease the amount of vitamin that your body can absorb. People who don't include fruits and vegetables in their diet are at risk. Symptoms may occur a few months or a person dietary intake of vitamin C drops too low. The vitamin C deficiency symptoms include bleeding gums, weakness, fatigue and rash. Treatment involves taking vitamin C supplements eating fruits and vegetables. Vitamin K is a group of structurally similar fat soluble vitamins found in foods and in dietary supplements. The human body requires vitamin K to complete synthesize of certain proteins that are needed for blood clogation, controlling binding of calcium in bones and other tissues. Vitamin K is found in leafy greens and some vegetables, meat, cheese and eggs also have high amounts of vitamin K. Vitamin D has several important functions. Perhaps it's the most vital at regulating absorption of calcium and phosphorus and facilitating normal immune system function. 
Getting a sufficient amount of vitamin D is important for normal growth and development of bones and teeth as well as improved resistance against certain diseases in your body. Your body produces vitamin D naturally when it's directly exposed to the sunlight. If you don't get enough vitamin D, you're at risk of developing bone abnormalities such as soft bone or fragile bones. In addition to its primary benefits, research suggests Vitamin D may also play a vital role in decreasing the chance of developing heart disease and helping to reduce your likelihood of developing a flu. Vitamin D reduces depression. Research has shown that vitamin D might play an important role in regulating mood and warding off depression. In one study, scientists found that people with depression who have received vitamin D supplements have noticed an improvement in their symptoms. In another study of people, researchers found vitamin D deficiency was more common in those who were also experiencing anxiety and depression. Vitamin D boosts weight loss. Consider adding vitamin D supplements to your diet if you're trying to lose weight or prevent heart disease. You can find great selection of vitamin D supplements online. In one study, people are taking daily calcium and vitamin D supplements were able to lose more weight than subjects taking a placebo supplement. The scientists said extra calcium and vitamin D had an appetite suppressing effect. Vitamin D efficiency affects almost 50% of the population worldwide. Most common symptoms of vitamin D deficiency is fatigue, tiredness, depression, bone and muscle pain and hair loss. B vitamins are important for making sure your body cells are functioning properly. They help the body convert food into energy, metabolism, create new blood cells and maintain healthy skin cells, brain cells and other body tissues. There are eight types of B vitamin, each with their own function. Let's talk about vitamin B12 because high percentage of people get vitamin B12 deficiency. Vitamin B12 is crucial to the normal normal function of brain and nervous system. It's involved in formation of red blood cells and helps create and regulate DNA. The metabolism of every cell in the body depends on vitamin B12 as it plays a part of synthesis of fatty acids and energy production. Vitamin B12 enables the release of energy by helping the human body absorb folic acid. The human body produces millions of red blood cells every minute. These cells cannot multiply properly without vitamin B12. The production of red blood cells reduces if vitamin B12 levels are too low. Anemia can occur if the red blood cell count drops because of vitamin D deficiency. Diet or certain medical conditions may also be the cause of the vitamin B12 deficiency. Okay guys that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. See you in my next video.